Welcome to the 33 day preparation for total consecration to Jesus through Mary, right here on the Catholic Sprouts podcast. Before we begin, let's pray. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Mary, Mother of Jesus, be a mother to us now and bring us to your Son. Amen. Hello and welcome back to day 26 of this 33-day preparation for total consecration to Jesus through Mary on the Catholic Sprouts podcast. Today is the last day of our third section where we have been looking at the titles of Mary to help us better understand her and the role that she plays in bringing us to Jesus. So in this section, we've talked about Mary as the new Eve Mary as a mother of God, Mary as being full of grace, Mary and her immaculate heart, Mary as a mother of sorrows, and Mary the star of the sea. We are going to finish today by talking about Mary as the queen of heaven. In fact, she is the queen of heaven and earth. In other prayers and litanies, we describe her as the queen of angels and saints, the queen of patriarchs and prophets, the queen of apostles, martyrs, confessors, virgins, and families. She is the queen of it all. And we're going to talk about why and what this means. But just so you can put this in perspective for how we know that she is the queen. Remember the mysteries of the rosary that we pray. In the glorious mysteries of the rosary, the final two mysteries are the assumption of Mary into heaven, where since the very early days of the church, tradition has told us that after after her life was done, she was assumed her whole body up into heaven. Now, we believe that after she arrived there, she was crowned by God, the Trinity. She was crowned as queen. Now, all that we have talked about in all of her titles is why God crowned her. He crowned her because she is the new Eve, the mother of all of those that will live forever because she trusted. He crowned her because she is the true mother of God. She is the mother of Jesus Christ, who was fully human and fully God. He crowned her because she loved so perfectly that she is perfectly filled with his grace. He crowned her because of the way she loves us, because of how she profoundly suffers through her love. And he crowned her because it is her one desire to lead her children, to lead us to Jesus. And we celebrate this through the title, Star of the Sea. Now, although Mary is crowned in heaven, I think especially here in the United States, we have a little bit of a funny feeling about royalty that we kind of think of a queen as you know, self-important or very proud. But let me tell you, Mary is not that. Mary is queen just because she is the perfect disciple. She is queen because she is so, she is so happy to do anything for God, to be God's perfect tool and perfect instrument. Now, Mary, we know that from that time when she is was assumed into heaven, she has been very busy. Throughout the ages of the church, she has appeared to many, many people. She has appeared to saints. She appeared to both St. Bridget of Sweden, St. Catherine of Siena. She appeared to many, many saints. She spoke to them about private things. She spoke to them about things that should be happening in the church. She gave special devotions like the rosary to St. Dominic. And even in modern times, she continues to appear with messages of love, of 
kind of gentle reprimands that we should be doing better, loving each other better, praying better. She has come to talk about how to end war like she did to the children at Fatima. She came to hopefully save people before the terrible genocide in Rwanda. While she was in Rwanda, she taught children how to sing. She taught them special songs from heaven. So Mary has been very, very busy as the queen of heaven and earth of the angels and the saints. Now, one thing I really want want you to take away from this section on Mary when we talked about her titles is that Mary, her special job is to stand between you and Jesus Now, she's our mother, so she's not going to just stand there. She's going to reach out and want to take our hand or put her arm around our shoulders to, to tell us all that we, how wonderful we are, to hear all of our sad things or all of our regrets. She's there to be near us, but she's standing always between us and Jesus. And she wants nothing more than to help us take one step closer to Jesus, always closer to Jesus. She also wants to give us her heart. If you remember, we talked about how her heart is the immaculate heart, how it is perfectly pure. It is on fire with God's own love and how it willingly suffers because when we love someone, we suffer with them. She wants to give us her heart so that we can love like she did. Now, that's going to come with suffering, just like Mary suffered. But she is the queen because she is so good. She's our mother because she knows us. She knows what is best for us. She knows us specifically, and she wants us to come closer to Jesus. So in the next section of this preparation, the final section, we're going to be talking about Jesus. Because remember, this is total consecration to Jesus through Mary. We're understanding how important, how powerful Mary is in our journey to giving ourselves totally to Jesus. So she is here standing with us, but she wants us to look always at Jesus, never at her, always at Jesus. So she's with us with her arm wrapped around us as we turn into this final section. She begs us to not be afraid, to simply feel Jesus's love, accept his love, and stand with her, suffer with Jesus, and love him. And so as we prepare to talk about Jesus, we ask Mary to pray for us and we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, mother of the church, pray for us. Thank you for joining us for this 33-day preparation for total consecration to Jesus through Mary. If you would like to support this podcast and all that we do here at Catholic Sprouts, you can find a link to do so in the notes for this episode.